Hello there, this is DBT and these are the rooms. And all right, let's continue playing some more Asphaltate. And today we're gonna drive again my beautiful Brabham BT62. Oh yeah, baby, it's time to drive this thing again. Why? Because I want to drive this thing and might as well make a video out of it, right? All right, so what are we gonna do? We're actually gonna try to rank up a little bit in the master season. Now, I've talked about before how Master Season is the world when I get to have some fun with cars that aren't necessarily meta and maybe cars that are a little bit bad. And, for example, I was driving with my Apollo Intense Emotion because it's a beautiful car. But now, I'm gonna switch to the Brabham. So let me activate some boosters and let's talk about it. Ha! And the very first race with his car had to be in a notoriously long track with not a lot of nitro. Of course! Now, I'm jumping the gun a little bit because, of course, I'm, I haven't talked just yet about why why i don't think this is a good track for this car and it just has to do with the fact that this car has horrible nitro now i'm gonna update this video a little bit because i'm recording this right after i finished recording a video with the mp431 that the f1 class s mclaren car um which is a beautiful car but sadly it's a horrendous one to drive because it has absolutely terrible terrible trash tier nitro and in that video i was comparing it to this the brabham bt62 and i was saying how this type of cars that have some very bad things or in general that are not super great performance i like these cars and I'm, i like to be able to drive them even if they don't give me results but when i want to make them look good from time to time i go into master season because that is where people tend to race I don't know how to put it, but they try to, uh, they, they maybe race a little bit less seriously than they do in Classic. I don't know how to express it, but overall it does feel like getting first places in Master Season is way, way easier than it is in Classic Season. And that is why my MP protests, um, I don't do them in Master Season, because that to me, that doesn't feel right, you know? It's like, yeah, but people aren't even trying over there, so getting W's over there doesn't really reflect the actual performance of the car. And that is why I do it in Classic. But right now, since I already did a protest of this car, well, now I'm just chilling with it at the Pro Rank, but in Master Season to try to get some half-decent results. And I got a third place, so that's not too terrible. B, I just got defeated by an Tushek, the Faraday, but I defeated Centenarius, a Silver Lightning, though that's not fully upgraded. Cento the Echi, and that's about it. Uh, oh, and Aquara BC, everybody else under ranked or unboosted. Oh, wait a second, did I just rank up in the first race? Let's go, baby! Yeah, there you go. Now, I would love to be able to get to Elite in this video, but that's really not gonna happen. And that's not even really the objective of the video. It's just to chill and drive the Brabham while I criticize the natural duration because, oh boy, it really do be pain. And it just hurts me a little bit to see such a beautiful car that I wanted it to be in this game. And once it came out with that fantastic livery, by the way, and it just performs so bad, so, so bad. And also that it has an engine sound that doesn't sound particularly appealing to me, but it's alright, it's not... And look at that, speaking of the MP431, there it is. Now, if you were to ask me, hey DBT, what's a better car, this, the Brabham or the MP431? I couldn't tell you, I really couldn't. Um, now that I'm driving the Brabham again, after I just drove the MP431, it does feel like this has even worse nitro than the MP431. Now, is this true or is this just DBT subjective? feeling based opinion yeah it's more like that but i it does seem that i'm gonna beat that mp431 so make of this result whatever you will but oh boy also kind of funny that only four people in this race well we just did a race with like 12 but hey it is what it is it's fine it's all right don't worry about it and all right defeated by 300 plus i couldn't say one one but yeah i did beat the mp431 so there you go maybe i just answer my own question huh now, to be completely honest with you, recording this video really it's like killing three stones with a single bird. Yeah, that's totally how the saying goes. And that has to do with, well, first of all, I wanted to do my master, master season races. Actually, it might be four stones with one bird, now that I think about it. I want to do my master, um, master season races, obviously, because I want to get to Elite eventually and get my half a million future goals, right? So that is my first objective. Second objective, it's uh, the fact that I need to do at least six races to get my dice for the Bugatti Bolide Treasure Rush. So that is the second rock that I'm gonna on a live. Then the third one is, well, I thought if I still need to do these races anyway, might as well record it. And that's the third one because that means I got a video for you to upload. That's kind of nice. And the final, the fourth and final uh, stone that I'm gonna on a live 
it's the fact that I'm gonna use this video as a bit of a backup because I don't know when I'm releasing this video it might be released literally a couple of days after I record it or it could be released in two weeks or a month who knows I just want to have it on the back uh, back burner is that how you say it in case I someday don't have anything to upload and then I'm like oh my god what do I release today and then I can bring up this video I've done that with some of the asphalt 9 videos and well now I'm doing it with this oh I think he ran out of nitro let's go baby Oh, I stole the second place because that other car ran out of Nitro and that, that was a not absolutely horrendous result for me, so I'll take it. I defeated by the FXXK, but I defeated the MP431 and there's the Centenario. Ooh, ooh, the Centenario most definitely has better Nitro than this, but hey, skill or something. <laughs> so I guess that's just my half-baked, um, uh, 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 what would I call it, pretext or reason or whatever as to why this video may feel a little bit dated. Because again, maybe you didn't notice, because I try to do it fast, but um, it, maybe you did notice that there is the, the car hunt going on for the MP431. So that should tell you when this video was recorded. Again, it, literally this video, for all I know, this video could be being released uh, a couple of days after I, I, I recorded it. Who knows? It really depends. Um, IRL stuff has been pretty hectic lately, and that is why I want to have a couple of videos here on the... Um, oh my god, stop it! Ah! Jesus Christ. Um, that's why I want to have a couple of videos out there in case I need to release something and I did not have time to record. Because it has happened already to me a couple of times uh, the week that I'm recording this, where I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't have anything. In fact, here here comes a little bit of a, um, of a story or, or a little peek behind the, the curtains. Because by the time I'm recording this, this is being done the day after I real No, or the same day. I guess the same day. Um, after, no, technically the, okay, whatever. Uh, shortly after the, I released a video on the Bugatti uh, Vision Gran Turismo, for which I'm still trying to do a bit of music car. But um, I actually did not have a video to release that particular day. I was like, oh God, am I gonna not release anything? And then that same day, Game Love was like, okay, this is the day when we announced that we're removing the car. I'm like, oh, perfect, then I can release the video. Because I, I had recorded it before, and I was just waiting for Gameloft to actually announce this, the, the removal of the car, because then I'm not leaking out information. You know how that works, right? So yeah, that was just really, really crazy happenstance. But anyway, um, a bunch of cars defeated me. The Lycan, the, the the Halloween, I should say. A uh, Faraday and a Batista, but I did beat a Jesco Cyan, another Faraday, a Silver Lightning Cyan, and Rematch Nevera. Look at that, I'm telling you. This is an absolutely amazing car. Not really. I mean, it do be looking amazing, but the performance, not so much. And if you want to get a hard and opinion, you need to leave me the key phrase for today, which is going to be, this car looks too good to have such bad night. First person to post it gets the hard, the pain, you know how this whole thing works. And while I'm here telling you about this, why don't you subscribe to the channel if you haven't? We're trying to get to the 10,000 subscribers. Maybe by the time this video is released, we already got there. Or maybe not, but it doesn't matter. Still subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because why not? I make a ton of content like this, so if you're enjoying it, make sure to hit the like button. And again, subscribe, because there's still more to come. There's so many videos to make still, so there is that. A lot of fast food date coming, but you know, there's also a lot of content in other games, because I like playing other games as well. So, I am in second place. Look at that, the, the unlikely, uh, the underdogs at the helm of this race. Uh, Mercedes-Benz Silver Lightning and a Brabham BT62 on a track notorious for not having a ton of nitro. Yeah, I'm, I'm very low, but it's okay, it's okay. Maybe that Silver Lightning is going to crash somewhere and that'll give me the opportunity to get back in here. No, but look at that. I need two spins. Come on, give me two, give me one more. Oh, come on, I need two. Normally, getting one spin is good because you don't lose as much speed when you're landing. Because basically, you're landing on a straight line, which allows you to keep pretty much all of the speed. But, you know, no nitro. So what good is that? I'd rather lose a bunch of speed but get my second spin for, for the nitro. But oh, well, whatever. You know what? I can live with a second place because given the car that I am driving, a second place is not really all that bad. So, all right, Silver Lightning defeated me, but I want to see who I defeated because that makes me feel better. <laughs> all right, we got a CN and a Jesco. The Faraday wasn't triple boosted, so that doesn't really count. And actually, I've been getting a decent amount of points, but yeah, most definitely. 
If we get to to the next um, league, that'll be already a W. Most definitely will not make it into a league. So what else can I tell you about this car other than this Nitro is just atrocious? Not much. Good handling. Decent acceleration. Beautiful, gorgeous livery. That's about it. Really, there's not much. The drift, I suppose, it's all right. Um, honestly, I don't think I can tell you with any degree of certainty if it's good, proper good. It seems good. Yeah, it seems good. Nothing outstanding. Oh, dude, stop it. Jesus Christ. Nothing is straight up outstanding or anything. I'm going to go for flat spin skills because I really need the knife. Whoa! I don't know how I didn't knock him down if I fell on top of him, but okay, whatever. Um, but definitely feels to be in the good side with the with the drift. So, yes, there is that. I'm going to take this. Oh, they didn't respond in time. That's no good. Gonna go for flat spin because I really need nitro. Gonna drop down, go for another jump, and hope that I can at least beat that Chantanero that is right behind me. I should have picked up that nitro, but, but we should be alright. Oh! Oh, someone wrecked! Let's go, second place! Let's go, baby! I don't think I'm gonna get a first place in this video, but you know, sometimes you just gotta accept that no matter how good you are, like DBT, if you're driving a garbage car, you're never gonna win. That's actually completely false, but whatever. All right, so CM beat me, which is a Lambo. I can respect that, absolutely. I did beat a Cento Dieci, Divo, Faraday, Centenario, and another Faraday, though. That wasn't triple boosted, so whatever. It's fine. This car and a few others really get me thinking, what is Gimlock gonna do with the Masterpiece? Because it just seems a little bit weird that, well, Gamelove completely, quote unquote, forgot about the master keys they haven't updated it in a while but i really don't think that they have forgotten i think this is a completely deliberate situation because if they were to update the master keys then a bunch of cars that were very pay to win or that had their special event suddenly you could acquire through the master keys so long as you still had some now i wonder how many of you still have a master ah! a master key of class s i do i think i have one or two no i think it's just one I kept one, even though there's a couple of cards that I would still love to unlock with that thing, like token cards and whatnot. But I've been saving it precisely for in case one day I need it. I don't know what for, but maybe there's something that it really it makes it worth it or worthwhile to you. But as I was saying, I don't think that Game of wants to update those things because then imagine you could easily get this card, the problem from a master key, a card that you needed so many cards for this special event and whatnot, and suddenly you got a master key, ah, the card is yours. But it's even worse for cards like the Sterato, because that is a card of 1861, so it's not at the end of the bracket, which makes it that it could be acquired on a master key. And that car was a treasure rush car. So imagine having spent $150 or something dumb like that to unlock the car, <laughs> um, and then other people are able to unlock it just with a master key. I mean, that is a possibility that might still happen, but you know. All right, I got beaten by a Reventon, Faraday, and a Cian, but I did beat a Cento Dieci, Centenario, and a, another Faraday. All right, I guess that's Farad, Fair. No, that didn't work. Now, if Game Love were to actually update the Master Kill list so that you could unlock, well, those cars, it's not like I would be upset that someone is able to unlock this Torado. I'm just with that, well, I had to pay a bunch of money. It was a conscious decision to spend a bunch of money to get the car. I got the car, I have been enjoying it, so it is what it is. And then after a certain waiting period, the car then is available. That's actually not something unseen in this game. Because, for example, something like that happened with the Essenza SV12. Because that car originally was a premium car, I believe. Uh, but then, you, uh, Game of, I don't know, like a year later, Game of just straight up gave the car away for free. Like gave it to everybody that was active in the game at that time that's how a lot of people got that car which is nice because now you see that car well not you don't see it a lot but you know what i'm saying um so yeah i wouldn't really be upset i would be happy for people to get the car but i she says i really don't think that game love wants to do that because it would it could it would devalue a lot the value is that a word the value those cars and i don't know i think they want to make it so that people feel special for having that super rare expensive car or whatever. I don't know. I could be wrong and maybe they will do it eventually. And maybe they will wait a long time to do it precisely so that, hey, here you go. You have uh, other people that spend money. They have, uh, have had access to the car for all this time. And then from that point on, after, I don't know, a year, two years or however long, 
Like, okay, now the rest of the world can have access to this stuff if you have a master key. But again, I don't think a lot of people have one. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Again, because we're trying to get to the 10,000. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.